Okay, today we're going to make this Bobcat planer. Work on this Kubota. So all we're going to do is take this controller out here. Maybe we're going to take this cover off and we'll install one of our BPH harnesses directly onto these uh, solenoids that are inside here. We've done is gone underneath here and undone these nuts up in here. So what I've done is I've gone in here, I've undone the nuts so I can bring all of the Deutsch connectors down so it's easier to access them. And I pull all the plugs out and I'm going to put the harness right into here. So we have this harness, now we're going to hook it onto this machine. And I'm going to put my harness on there. And I'm only going to do the orange and the green to start with just to test it and make sure everything's working. And then I'm going to, I'll map out what each solenoid does. So to test things here, I'm going to use my orange pair and my green pair because those are the primaries. And I'm going to plug them in the first set of solenoids. We're going to split them out. This, so this is the side shift on the right stick. And then these sets of buttons here. This will be his left side up and down. This will be his, uh, sorry, this will be his right side up and down. So that's... Left side up and down, right side up and down. More controls here. Two controls here. Uh, this. We've got red on the top left. And then we've got black or white black on the bottom left. Then here on the center one, we've got white and blue on the bottom. And then here we've got green on top, orange on the bottom on the one that's most on the right and it completely works. What I'm expecting to see is pin K on, and then when he touches aux 2 to one side, we get F, but we see that pin K goes out, and then when we switch and we go to the other side, pin K comes back on and E triggers. So trigger it back. So you see how pin K is dropping out? It should never do that. Pin K should just keep power so it should stay on all the time.